Hey everybody, this is C7, the HOA Homesteader. I'm about to get started with part two of my beehive inspection. I gotta go into that second hive. I got half of my equipment set up, but I still need to get by. Smoke started and get suited up. But with that said, guys, let me get that stuff taken care of. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and I'm gonna try to get some footage inside of the hive. So let me go take care of that. I'll thank you guys in advance for visiting my channel. This is C7, the HOA Homesteader. And remember folks, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to see my videos as they're released. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave comments. And thanks for the comments that you guys have left on a uh, previous video. I really appreciate it. Cause like I said, I'm still a novice. I'm still learning and you guys give me that feedback. You're teaching me as well. And I appreciate that. So until I get everything else organized, I'll see you in a few. Okay. With what I saw the other day, expecting that box over there, I had mentioned that, uh, I'm going to stack a third box on top. So I'm prepared to do that today. So I will be kind of messing with both eyes. And then I do a really good inspection on the one that I skipped over. Uh, I got the boxes set up, mediums. I'm only going to use nine frames. Some of the frames. That's not Even though it looks like one of those yellow frames, it's actually, the bees already have filled it out. So most of the frames are here. And both of these boxes, most of the frames in both of these boxes got some type of cone already on. So I hope that gives them a kickstart as well. With that said, let me get to it. Okay, like I said, that was simple enough. Just added additional box, give them some more room. Uh, I may even have to do a split because someone had said that those were drone cells and I believe they were drone bees that they had, that when I pulled the frames out, they fell out. Cause they were big and they were all white and they were all at the bottom. So I believe that to be so. I was advised that's a sign of swarming. I'm not really all the way ready to set up a third hive. I need a, uh, I need some type of lid. So I can use my old bottom board and I got boxes, but I don't have a lid. So at the, my next bee meet, I think I'll purchase a, a lid because we have a, uh, a distributor that comes to our meetings too. So, all right, let's get started on the next hive. Don't know what that is. These bees are a lot calmer than the other box.
All right, the top box, honey, some brood, uh, drone cells, and I think I seen them building out. I know I saw them building out some queens, queen cells. So hopefully, uh, giving them this additional space may slow that activity down. But I, I'm really thinking I need to go ahead and and uh, do a split. Yep. So, let's get down to the uh, bottom box. Alright, let me pull a couple of frames and let y'all look down in there. You can see the drone cells. As you can see, it really ain't much to see down in there. I haven't seen any of those white drone bees larvae bees in here so since this is the bottom box i'm gonna expect like two more frames and then i'm gonna put this thing back together <laughs> Okay, folks, that's this for out here. Pretty good inspection. I'm going to finish this video out on the patio, and I'll see you there. All right, back on the patio. Equipment put away. Bees taken care of. Inspection went well. Guys, the uh, first hive from the other day is a much busier hive. Got a lot more activity going on in there. And the second hive today was very, very calm and easy going bees. But like they said, it seemed like when they're more aggressive, they get more done. There was a lot more honey and everything in the other hive. This hive, the top box, it was uh, mixed with brood and honey, not just honey. But I went ahead and added the additional box anyway. Um, I may be doing some traveling, so I'm gonna give them that space that they may need in the near future. With that said, guys, that's it for the day. You guys have been with C7, the HOA homesteader. And you know what the motto is, just because you may live in HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food or take care of bees. With that said, I'll see you guys when the next video drop. Thanks again for visiting the channel. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, and hit that notification bell. Thank you.